Marquette Devon Burton, the saint and the sinner giving you lessons on five books everyone should read, and I do mean everyone. And usually when people ask me for book recommendations, I say, wait, tell me about yourself. What are your goals? What do you want out of life? I'm going to give you a book for that. But these are five books that you have to read to even consider yourself educated. These are five books every high-level person has read. These are five books that will make your life better. Let's get into it. First, I'll tell you all five of the books and then I'll give you a little bit, just a little nugget on each book. Book number one that you absolutely must read. It's called The Magic of Thinking Big by Dr. David J. Schwartz. This is a book I read many years ago when I was living in San Francisco, first starting my company in the tech industry. Why is thinking big hugely important? Well, if you didn't grow up and your father wasn't a millionaire, or I guess nowadays a billionaire, if you didn't grow up parents that encourage you to strive for the best, then you're going to need this. If your parents were average, they worked a nine to five, or you were around people who were doubting you, you're going to need the magic of thinking big. It opens up your eyes, changes your mindset. For example, in the magic of thinking big, they make you question things that you have assumed. For example, it says, when you look at a Fortune 500 company, should you apply for the janitor position or should you apply for the CEO position? Many people think it's easier to get the position as a janitor, but in reality, it's easier to get the position as a CEO. Why is that? Because there are three, four hundred people applying to be the janitor because it's a simple job that most people can do. The CEO position, on the other hand, has very few applicants because most people tell themselves no instead of throwing their name in the hat. It is a bit of a dated book, so when you go through it, you'll have to kind of update some of the numbers for today's reality, but it's a great work which you absolutely must read. The second book is my favorite book. It's entitled The Richest Man in Babylon. In Babylon! great reggae song Bob Marley, whatever, but The Richest Man in Babylon. This is a phenomenal book. Unlike The Magic of Thinking Big, The Richest Man in Babylon actually drives you to think small in some ways, to think simple. What are the simple things you can do to earn money, to save money, to multiply money? Most of the questions I get from you guys are about money. And The Richest Man in Babylon is a narrative that talks specifically and consistently about building your fortune, about getting out of debt, so I highly recommend everyone check out The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a masterwork. It's written in the, you know, in the story format, so it's an easy book to read and understand. The third book that I want to recommend to you is entitled The Prince by Machiavelli, Niccolo Machiavelli, an Italian diplomat who wrote this book many, many years ago. It's a great book because it speaks accurately about human nature. People might do something and say they did it for a good reason, when in reality they did it for a selfish reason. Machiavelli in The Prince talks about leadership. He talks about moving up in the world, talks about how to manage people. It's a great book if you need to deal with folks who are emotional, if you need to understand people's true intentions. Great book. Only challenge is that there will be a lot of interpretation needed. I have a treat for you if you wait till the end of this video. I got a, a treat for you on a couple different fronts, so just hold on. Another book that I absolutely recommend is entitled The Art of War by the Master Sun Tzu, a Chinese military genius. Again, a book written many years ago. It's a beautiful book to read because it's written almost like poetry. The Master Sun Tzu writes, you are infinite. You begin and end again like the sun and the moon. You leave and return again like the four seasons. He's describing strategy on how to boggle the mind of your enemy, how to defeat your enemy. It's military strategy, but you can apply it to daily life. Again, you will need some interpretation on that book, but it is a classic. The last book that I want to recommend to you is entitled The Black Box by Marquette Devon Burton. An excellent read because Number one, it talks about your life today. Uh, number two, it doesn't need any interpretation. At the end of each chapter, it gives a black box, which basically explains what you were supposed to learn in the story if you missed it. It's an autobiographical 
artwork. It's an exciting read. It reads like one great big story. It's very adventurous and has a lot of emotions. And if you know anything about making change in your life, emotions are what drive us. Emotions are what help us remember things. Emotions are the force of life. So I highly recommend The Black Box if you're looking to better understand the world, understand yourself, improve your mindset, and change the bad ideas in your mind and the bad habits so that you can be successful. Folks, those are the five books that every single person on the planet Earth should read, and especially if they want to be successful, particularly in the financial sense. It's been a pleasure to have you here with me. And I'm going to end this the way we always end it, with the creed of the assassin. Repeat after me. I am going to be who I truly am because I am remarkable. And I will strive every moment to show the greatest part of who I am. Until next time.